very well. Hi, uh, you're my favourite band of all time, thank you so much. Um, In the City is my favourite song, and if not, in my opinion, the best song of all time. And I would love to hear the backstory behind that, how, who, why it was written. Um, well, I guess that's me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have it even before we started? I did, yeah. yeah. I, I, wrote, I, I wrote that in, I'll give you the short answer. I wrote that in, um, I think, 1999. I'd broken up with a girl, and it was a really big deal, but it must have been 2000, I think. No, it was 2000, and I, and, um, I really wanted to see her, and this was an age sort of before mobile, before everyone had a mobile phone and everything like that, and somebody told me that she was going to be at Notting Hill Carnival. So I was like, okay, great, I'll just go down to Nottingham Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn up and I go, oh, yeah, man, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> and uh, I walk around Nottingham Carnival for the day, maybe two days, just trying to sort of, um, trying to find her, you know. And, uh, and I didn't. And, and, and I was, um, I just wrote this, because I, I didn't have the, you know, the, the cheaper or whatever it was to get back. So I just wrote it walking back, so it was something to do while I was walking home, you know? So that was, that, and that was it, and that was all the sort of speed ups and slow downs, and it was literally, what am I doing today? I'm looking for you in the city, yeah, okay, fine. You know, so that was, that was it, and, and um, yeah, that song that sort of predated Ray's Life, but as soon as I got Ray's Life together, it felt, it, 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 it was just like the right song for this, for this band. Yeah. Great, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and there's a little factoid. It did kind of spawn the name of the band. We did a squat gig in Dawson, and we we didn't have a lot of song. It was really early, so we were basically like, well, we'll just kind of jam them out, make them a bit longer. And uh, Roger was filming it, so there was this bit where he's yeah, it was a bit in the city at the end where he goes kind of, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. But the PA was so horrible, and it's like an old was like camera. Drugs. <laughs> This fact must not leave the room. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's all right. It sounded like Razor Light. Yeah, exactly. Somebody said, like, oh, I'm and we watched it back. No, we watched it back together, and I, and I heard it back, and I'm going, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I said, it sounds like I'm, sounds like I'm saying Razor Light. Because yeah. I thought Razor Light was a good name, but I was too scared to say it, you know. And, and then uh, Roger, our manager, the went, hello. And, um, and, um, Roger. Yeah, I remember somebody yeah, mentioned it, it was like, and he was like, oh, that's a good name for a band. Yes! Okay. <laughs> oh, back there. Roger. Yeah, question to Hi, Brian. Roger. Why would you, thank you, um, why would you recommend any new band releasing a new album as a new tour? Sorry, to say that again? Yeah, sure. What, what would you recommend an indie band? Releasing a new album and ready to tour. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that some advice? Was that the best advice? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, a very good universe you. now. What was the it? Like, hang on, Bjorn. Hang on, Bjorn. You'll be good at this. What, would, <laughs> what is it in the band? One more time. Well, basically, would you like? I know. I want to hear the question one more time. Well, basically, are you after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Anything to be aware of? Um, you know, any yeah, advice. communication advice or something like that? Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. No, we please. actually we made uh, an uh, an indie snakes and ladders board game on the bus, <laughs> and you know, so it's like okay, you know, you go up a ladder when you like you get played on Joe Wide or something like that. You go down a ladder when you want to like put your acoustic number as the B side, but then you want to open the set with that, and you know, that kind of thing. So um, maybe we could dig it out. If we dig it out, we'll, we'll post it on the socials. And that's, that, that's our most heartfelt uh, advice we can possibly give. Thank you. We, we could update it. We talked about this the other day. Update it for 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. That went down well. That's it. Successful. This is really great. Let's take loads of more questions. I love this. I saw you in Isle of Wight last year. It was like the first festival. Been postponed and everything like that. And I saw you at Kew Gardens and everything like that. That sign. How old is it? The sign. Really, really old. This involves it, Sloan. Oh, Did you see the blown bulbs? Listen, the sign. I'm so glad you asked that. Sign. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the show. We like the sign. 
put aside. Yeah, so we got it made. Every letter has its own little jacket, like a zip up, like, you know, like cozy jacket, and it, and it has its own, has to go in its own bag, right? <laughs> I was really worried because I left the band for a long time and one of my main worries I love the sign was that we were gonna sell the sign. I love the sign. And it didn't sell the sign. And we've still got the sign. The, the thing is, we headlined the Reading, no, not a Reading Festival, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Uh, what's it called? The Isle of Wight Festival. That stage could fit the sign. We use the sign. So the sign had 10 years of rest, and then came out of retirement and flashed its fucking life out. Um, but now we need to, Roger, what the fuck? We need another headline. Roger? <laughs> Working on it. The sign demands. The sign demands it, because otherwise we've got to store the sign for like two more years. Who will store the sign? But thank you for asking about the sign, because the sign is a big issue for the band. It's, as you can see, we're all slightly awkward about the sign. It's like we've got a letter each and a few more for the other people that are involved in our organisation. Next question. I'm fucking loving it again. <laughs> Come on, Dom, you said you had a question. Would you guys have gotten back together again if it weren't for the documentary? Did the filming really spur this? Um, definitely helped it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I think, yeah, totally. Because, um, well, we started doing it, and, and, and you know, one of the first things I said was, you should talk to Andy as well, and you know, you should talk to everyone that was ever in the band and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, if I was, I mean, I, it may not come across on the documentary, but I was also extremely nervous about meeting up with Andy. And um, I don't know if it would have happened unless there was somebody like in between sort of brokering that. You know, I mean, it wasn't a complicated, it wasn't a complicated thing to set up. It was, you know, it was kind of like, well, Andy's in France, he wants to come see you, so I was like, well, if he's gonna come all the way to here, and I mean, it's the middle of nowhere, then like, oh, of course, you know, well, uh, of course. So, you know, so that, I, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it would have happened without, without this happening. Pick up Ben Lowe. Yeah. Ben Lowe. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes, everyone. That means five minutes till you can all piss. <laughs> <laughs>